from the longtime home of the Royals, we welcome you to Kauffman Stadium in Kansas City, site of this edition of Major League Baseball presented by the show. Tonight we wrap up this short two-game series as it'll be the Detroit Tigers against the Kansas City Royals. Hello again, everybody. Matt Vaskirshen here to take you through this one. With me, as always, are former big leaguers Dave Campbell and Rex Hudler. And, Soup, you've been at this for a long time now. What catches your eye when we look at a matchup like this? Well, Matt, I think the key to this game is whichever team can get the early lead. Baseball's a game of momentum, so if you can get the ball rolling early, maybe force that starter to throw a lot of pitches, things can often swing in your favor. All right, Dave, thanks. We'll hear from Rex in a moment, but let's check out the starting lineup for the visiting Tigers in this one, and it's brought to us by State Farm. Call, click, or visit and start saving today. Rajay Davis is the leadoff man. He's in center field. Number one, bat second, he's at short. After that, second baseman Ian Kinsler. Miguel Cabrera is in the cleanup spot at first base. Victor Martinez is the designated hitter tonight. He'll bat fifth. Corey Hunter bats sixth and plays right. Number 61 will be in the number seven spot and play left field. Alex Avila will be behind the plate and hit eighth. Number 31 is in the ninth spot. He will play third. And set to face these guys, the number one overall pick from the 2006 draft, right-hander Luke Hochaver. And the Royals defensively will look like this behind him. Rajay Davis makes his way to the plate now as we're just about set for baseball this evening. Good crowd on hand as the first pitch tonight is taken for ball one. Yeah, and he'll look for something a little higher here. 1-0 pitch now. Now a ball for Tejada. Throw on to first in time, one away. Gets the easy ground out to open up the ball game. Always nice not have to deal with that speedy leadoff guy on base. And he gets ahead here with the fastball. Strike one. Swing and a miss. It's 0-2. Now he's going to have to make an adjustment at the plate. Maybe take a little length out of his swing. Here it comes. Now a ball hit pretty well to left, but this is going to wind up in the seats foul. Now a ball hit back up the middle. Throw, and he's called out on a close play at first. Ian Kinsler will step in, working on a nice five-game hitting streak. And a fastball just misses for ball one. Yeah, trying to take back control of that inside part of the plate. That's where you want to be. Ball hit high to the right side, but this will get into the seats foul. Here's the 1-1 pitch. And there's ball two now. Two one pitches, a fastball swung on and missed two and two. And they'd love to get through this first inning. One, two, three. There's no doubt about that. And an off speed pitch swung on and missed. And with that, the side is retired. So a relatively routine start for the top of the first year. Alcides Escobar will step in now to lead things off in the home half of the first. Swing and a miss that time. Strike one. And that's where you want to keep things early in this ballgame. 
pound that outside part of the plate. Hit hard to the left side. And that's a base hit, so the leadoff man's aboard to start off the home half of the first. Billy Butler will step in, working on a nice five-game hitting streak. And here's the first pitch. And this pitch is right down the middle, strike one. Piece of advice here. If you want to stick around in the bigs, keep that first pitch out of the middle of the plate. One and one. A runner at first with no outs here. And he gets a piece of it here, but it's chopped foul. Throw over to first. And he just manages to get his hand in. He's set, now the pitch. And he lays off a pitch outside as they draw even at two and two. Swing and a ball popped high in the air and heading for foul territory behind first. Cabrera. Omar Infante will dig in and he's been rolling of late, hitting an eight straight to enter play. Fastball in there for a cold strike. And one and one as this one's in on the hands. And this is fouled straight back. From the belt, kicks and deals. And this is lined hard to deep left. And this is pulled in on the run. Good concentration, and there are two gone. Alex Gordon will step in, working on a nice five-game hitting streak. First pitch coming. Low for ball one. And they better keep an eye on that runner at first. Lays off a fastball that doesn't miss by much, and it's 2-0. and oh. Now a throw over to first, and a dive, but he's back in. Take sign must have been on there because that's right down the middle. Strike one. The 2 1. Oh, and he pulls the string on one there, and from 2 0, oh, he works the count back to 2 and 2 now. Now a ball sliced out of play down the left field line. Two out with the man at first. And a fastball swung on and missed, and the side is retired. So no runs on a hit here, no errors, one man left on. Second inning upcoming here in KC with no score. Miguel Cabrera will step in as he's looking to extend what's become a very lengthy hitting streak. Watches a fastball right there for strike one. With a good hitter up there, it's always good to get ahead in the count early. And this is hit hard on the ground towards short. Throw to first will be in time, and there's one gone here to start the second. Victor Martinez will get his first cuts here.
Now here's the first pitch. Off the plate and away there. One ball, no strikes. And after a very economical first, let's see if he mixes things up a bit. Inside, and he falls behind the hitter now 2-0. and Swing and a shot toward right center. And this will get down for Victor. Should be extra bases. Well, this is the guy that likes to lean out and get this pitch up and away. Good swing there. Corey Hunter will stand in. In there, and it's 0-1. Got to make sure at the plate you don't hit one on the ground here. And that swung on and fouled straight back. Swing and a miss, but now the ball gets away. And they've got a man caught in the rundown. Throw back to second, and they've got him doubled off, and the inning is over. Miguel Tejado lead things off when we come back. We'll go to the bottom of the second. No score. Swing and a hard hit ball to second. And Kinsler will flip it on to first for out number one. Jeff Francoeur digs in at the plate. Swing and a shot back up the middle. And that'll get through into center field for a base hit. And look where this pitch is, right in the happy zone. He loves that thing middle in, and he explodes right through it. Wilson Betamy will take his cuts now. Frank Kaur on at first, the pitch. Swing and a miss as he was way in front of that one. You know they'd love to get him something he could hit on the ground here. Maybe get him out of the inning. Swing and a miss as he pulls the top hand over. It's 0-2. Had success with that fastball. Why not turn to it again, 0-2? And he stays alive as this is grounded foul. Bottom of the second here with no score. Hit hard towards the hole. Base hit. Well, this is all about hanging tough up there. Fouled off a difficult two-strike pitch, then found the one he wanted and came through. That'll mess with the pitcher's psyche. Lucas May is at the plate now, and he takes a cold strike. And obviously a double play ball would be big here as it would get him out of the inning. Now a ball slapped hard the opposite way. And a fine play there as he's able to corral this one on the move for the second out. Lorenzo Cain will be the batter. Right down Broadway that time. Strike one. Cabrera is there to make the catch, and the side is retired. So it's no runs on two hits, no errors, and two men left stranded. We've played two full. 
And we are tied nothing nothing. Number 61 is ready to go here as we begin the third. Starts him out with the slider for a strike. Matt, let's see if that sets the tempo for the rest of the at-bat. And he gets a piece here as this ball is fouled away. Fouled straight back. Ready with another 0-2. And a strike three here, but now the ball gets away. Alex Avila will stand in for the first time here. Nowhere close with the fastball to begin the at-bat. It's ball one. And this is on the outside corner, or thereabouts at least. It's one and one. Third inning, no score to this point. Here's the one-one. Swing shot back up the middle. In there, a base hit. Well, he's sitting dead red there. There is no doubt about it. Once he gets his fastball, he knows what to do with it. Number 31 will take his first cuts of the ball game here. Below the knees, one ball, no strikes. Boy, they could really use a double play ball here. But a strikeout wouldn't be too bad either. Hit hard towards second. And that'll get down for a base hit. Rajay Davis will dig in with a couple of guys in scoring position and a chance to take the lead here in the early going. Cold strike at the letters, 0-1. Both clubs with three hits in the ballgame. Ani takes something off there and had him way out in front for strike two. Now he runs up and gets this one down. A bare hand by Bedemi. And he throws it away. Now both the runners are across. Don't quite know what happened here. He might have taken his eyes off the target or something because this throw is not even close. Number one will step in. He's 0 for 1 thus far. And that's dead center for strike one. And pitch location has definitely been a problem for him here early on. He's got to stop leaving those pitches over the plate. Chased a low ball there, and he's quickly down in the count 0-2. Time to take a deep breath and regroup at the plate here. Come set, now the pitch. Swing and a miss at the curveball, and there's your second out of the inning. Here with two away, and that'll bring in the second baseman, Ian Kinsler.
fouled back. Just does manage to get a piece there as this is bounced foul. Pause, now the pitch. Swing, hard hit ball to second. Throw to first in time, and the big inning is avoided as the side is retired. So two runs on two hits, one error in the inning, and one man left on base. We'll head now to the home half of inning number three. Detroit is out in front, two to nothing. Alcides Escobar makes his way to the plate to get us started here in the bottom of inning number three. Ball by him here, 0 and 1. Swing and a ground ball to first. And he'll take it to the bag himself for the out. Billy Butler will stand in. He popped out in his last time. Gracious, where did that pitch miss? It's called ball one. Comes in with the changeup, and it's 2-0. and oh. Looks like it had him fooled a bit, but it couldn't hit the target. Two O pitch is a cutter that's in on the knuckles, and it's 3-0. and oh. And here's a fastball that he takes the other way out to fairly deep right. And a nice play as he reaches up to grab it on the run for the second out. Well, he gets a fastball that time right down Main Street, in fact. But all he can do is hit a fly ball for an out. Omar Infante will stand in. A line-out victim his first time. Called strike down in the zone, nothing in one. Pitching coach will love that location. Here's the pitch. Swing and a liner towards second. Throw to first will get him easily, and the side is retired. We'll see Miguel Cabrera leading off when we get back. On now to the top of inning number four. Tigers lead this one two to nothing. Miguel Cabrera will step in, a ground out victim his last time. And he lays off there, 1 0. Oh. That was a good spot to miss. That thing fell right through the bottom of the zone. Here's one hit towards the hole. And that's a base hit, so the pressure's on to open up the inning. Aboard with the leadoff single, and the way things are shaping up, they're going to need to capitalize on every chance they get because they might not get too many. Victor Martinez will stride in. He singled in his last plate appearance. A look at Cabrera, now the pitch. Swing and a ball bounced back up the middle. And that is through into center field, a base hit. Not a bad location there, inside part of the plate. That's just a good swing to drive it back up the middle. Corey Hunter will get another shot. He hit into a double play his last time. And 
And that's in there for strike one. Well, he got away with that pitch, but when you're a veteran pitcher, those are the kind of location mistakes you just can't afford to make. Oh, he had him fooled there. No balls and two strikes. That thing's almost in the dugout. What are you swinging at? From the stretch. And quick wrists here as this is yanked down the third base line. Foul. And he struck him out. Second time tonight now that he's been set down on strikes. You know, after two singles to start the inning, you at least need to be able to move those runners over to second and third with one out. Now a ground ball could get him out of the inning. Line hard to center field. That's in there. Base hit. Now it's cut off. A throw to the plate. And he will beat the tag. Safe at the plate. Well, a heads-up move by the batter there is while the run scored on the play, he was able to hightail it up to second base. Alex Avila will dig in. He singled and later scored his last time. Shot to third, but a quick love at third, and there were two gone. Well, as a pitcher, you'll want to throw strikes, but sometimes too many is a bad thing. You see there, 38 of them. He's been in the zone quite a bit here. Number 31 will step in. He doubled and later scored his last time. Here's the first pitch to him. Ball one. Swing and a ball pretty well hit out towards left center. Kane is going to have room out there as he puts this away to retire the side. So it's a run on three hits, no errors, and two men left on. On now to the bottom half of inning number four. The Tigers lead it three to nothing. Alex Gordon will lead things off here in the home half of the fourth. Here's the first offering. In there, no balls and a strike. 98 on the gun there, too. He's really bringing it. Swing and a miss here, and he's behind in the count now, 0-2. Hit hard towards second, but this will be gloved out there at second as he didn't have far to go for the out. One away for the Royals here in the fourth. And in steps the former MVP, Miguel Tejada. And he takes a cold strike, 0-1. And, and that's right where that thing is most effective, in on the hands. Now a ball lined softly down the left field line. Foul. Foul back. Swing and a miss by Tejada, and he's down on strikes. J. 
Jeff Francoeur steps in now. On the ground down the first baseline. And this is going to be a foul ball. Hit on the ground towards first. And he'll step on first for the out. This side is retired. So they go down without a whimper here. On to the top of inning number five we go. Detroit is out in front, three to nothing. Rajay Davis will step in. 0 for 2 with a run batted in thus far. First pitch on the way. And he lays off a pitch in there for the first strike. And he'll just live on the black right there. And this is fouled straight back. Swing and a miss on the fastball, and that's the first out. And this is just an instance of being overmatched by a fastball. He was way late on that one. Number one will dig in. 0 for 2 with a strikeout in this one. And here's the first pitch. And this is just off the outside corner for a ball 1-0. And he'll sling that thing across the strike zone, but he can't nip the corner. Fouled straight back. Swinging a ground ball towards the middle. A dive, but it's by him for a base hit. Looked like he guessed right that time as he was locked in on the fastball. That's a good A.B. Ian Kinsler will stride in, grounded out his last time through. He's ready now. The pitch gets this one down. Only played at first, so the sacrifice works that time. Good execution there as the sacrifice works that time. Now let's see if they can make it pay off. Miguel Cabrera will step in. Singled and came around to score his last time. And a fastball is in there for strike one. And good hitters like this will just let it go by and wait for a pitch they can do something with. Slider and he can't pull the trigger. Two strikes. Two out here and a runner at second. Swing and a miss as the slider sets him down for the final out of the inning. Wilson Betamie will stand in to lead things off in the bottom of the fifth. There's the cut fastball, but it's low 1-0. and He'll look for something a little higher. Swinging a hard hit ball back up the middle. Throws in time, and that's out number one. Doesn't matter whether you throw a guy out by 5 feet or 45 feet. It still counts as an out. you got to take a little more time with your throws there, Short. Lucas May will dig in. 0 for 1 in the ballgame.
First pitch coming. Now a swing as he hits this one into the air. But this will be foul off to the right out of play. Now a ball hit foul down the line in right and in amongst the fans. Not a bad pitch there with two strikes, but it misses one and two. Not a bad spot to miss. He might even go chase it out there. Swing and a miss on the changeup, and there are two gone. Lorenzo Cain will dig in here. He flew out his first time around. Showing bunt here, but he takes ball one. And the pitch. And this is fouled back and out of play. Bases are empty here with two men out. And this ball will be chopped foul. Just did get a piece of that one, so he stays alive here. Here he comes again, 1-2. Swing and a liner toward right center. Base hit. And the book on this guy is to get the ball up into the outer part of the plate. But I think he knows where this pitch is heading, and he puts a good swing on it. I'll see this Escobar. will dig in. One for two thus far. Pitch out. Nothing doing. On the ground is second. Throw to first in plenty of time, and the side is retired. So put another zero on the board as they've been held scoreless through five. Five innings complete. Tigers lead this one three to nothing. Victor Martinez will get things started here in the top of inning number six. a fastball called for strike one. The pitch. Swing and a liner. Lays himself out and makes a spectacular catch. This is what you call giving up your body. Have a look. That's full extension that time to take away a sure base hit. Corey Hunter will stand in 0 for 2 thus far.
And a first pitch slider is right there for strike one. And this ball's pretty well struck. High and deep to left field. And that is over the wall. Home run. A solo shot here to left. And that is 27 for him on the year as they move on top 4 to nothing. Well, let's get a look at this one more time. This ball's running out of steam a little at the end. And the left fielder gives it a run, but he just can't pull it back. It was a good effort, though. So a call to the bullpen now, and they'll make a move for the left-hander here. Number 61 will be the batter. One for two thus far. And he starts him out with, well, it looked like a strike, but it's ruled a ball, 1-0. Oh. And this catches the outside corner, strike one. Get this guy right here. Now here's a ball hit hard on the ground towards short. Throw on to first, two gone. Well, he knows if he backhands the ball, he won't be able to get that much on the throw, so he slides into a stop and then throws back over the top of his body to get his man at first. Alex Avila will step in, one for two in the ballgame. Here's the first pitch to him. And that misses inside 1-0. Oh. Not quite reaching 90 with the fastball, but it's 1-1 one and one now. Now a ball hit fouled off to the right side, and that just about got the first base coach. Here it comes. Just does stay alive as this is fouled back. Spins and pulls this one down the line at first. Foul. And an off-speed pitch swung on and missed. And with that, the side is retired. So one run on one base hit, the home run. No errors and no one left. Two, three, and four do up in the home half of the sixth. The Tigers lead it four to nothing. Billy Butler will dig in 0 for 2 thus far. And he sends a fastball out to left field and fairly well hit. And that ball is gone! Home run! Solo shot here to left. 19th home run for him on the season. As they get on the board, it's 4-1 to one now. First pitch to him. And he gets a piece of it here, but it's chopped foul. Misses downstairs for a ball, one and one. Sometimes guys go down and get the soft stuff. Not there. Fouled back. It 
hard down the line, but just foul. And he just missed extra bases by a matter of feet that time. And there's the fourth wide one, so he's aboard on the intentional walk. Alex Gordon will dig in. He lined out hard in his last time around. And a swing, and the ball hit well down the left field line, but back into the crowd foul. As a look, now the pitch. Now a hard hit ball back up the middle. Kinsler for one. On to first, and they get the double play. <laughs> Don't see this combination too often, but it's effective as they get the double play. Miguel Tejada will step in. He's 0 for 2 to this point. swing and a ball pulled down the line to third but foul two out nobody on hit hard to the right foul just did get a piece of that one so he stays alive here Swing and a hard ground ball to third. Base hit. Might have been a little surprised that he got something to hit 0-2. I know I was, but he was right on that fastball. Jeff Francoeur is in now as he watches a pitch for ball one. And this one's too far inside ball two. And in a close ball game, I think you let him throw you one here. Swings under this one as he pops in high in the air toward the right side. Kinsler is there, and the side is retired. So they pick up a run on two hits, no errors, and a man left. Number 31 will dig in. One for two with a double in this one. First pitch on the way. Just off the outside, and it's 1-0. Looks like he might be getting squeezed a little bit there. And that's in there for his strike, 1-1. One and one. Down the line, but this is a foul ball. And a changeup swung on and missed for the first down. Good crowd on hand here tonight as we welcome you back inside the broadcast booth alongside Dave Campbell and Rex Hudler. Matt Vaskersian here with the call this evening. Rajay Davis will dig in. Strikeout victim is last time. Runs up to Bun here, but he missed it for strike one. Wave deck missed, and he's behind 0-2. Working quickly here. Let's see if they try to finish him off. Hit hard on the ground is short. On to play it is Tejada. Throw beats him by a half a step. He almost beat that out. That won't help the hit streak. We'll have to see if he gets another opportunity. Number one will get another crack. One for three thus far. Now a fastball to start things out. Didn't miss by a lot, but it's 1-0. and Here's the 1-0. And this ball will be chopped 
foul. And the low 80s slider is in there, and he's in control one and two. Boy, this has been a good sequence to this point. Let's see if they try and punch him out. And an off-speed pitch swung on and missed, and with that, the side is retired. So nothing happening this time around. Getting late. Stretch time now in Kansas City. Tigers are out in front, four to one. Wilson Betami will step in, one for two in the ballgame. Now a swing on the first pitch as he sends this one out to the second baseman, Kinsler. And a good throw gets him one gone. This pitch looked to be below the knees, but he got him to swing down on it for the out. Lucas May will stand in 0 for 2 thus far. And he'll try to take control of the inside part of the plate here as that misses. Now a ball hit back up the middle. And that is through into center field for a one-out single. And Matt, he's right on this fastball. He locks in right out of the pitcher's hand and just shoots it back where it came from. On the ground is short. This could be two. Kinsler for one. Relay to first in time. And just like that, this side is retired. Royals go down on just four pitches. And this is still a 4-1 ball game. Ian Kinsler will get us going now in the top half of the eighth. Looked inside, but that's ruled a strike. Nothing in one. Now the pitch. And a pitch down that swung on and sent to second base. Throw on to first in time, so the leadoff man is set down to open up inning number eight. Well, this is one you got to lay off as a batter, because all you're going to do is drive it into the ground. Miguel Cabrera will get another crack, one for three thus far. First pitch is a slider called for a strike. Getting ahead, always a key when you're facing a guy like this. And the slider hangs on him a bit that time as it's belted out toward deep center field. And a terrific effort out there as he's able to chase that a long way for the second out. Trying for a little insurance right there and just didn't quite get it all. Victor Martinez will get another shot now. Two for three in the game. Don't give it now. And here's the first pitch. And he gets ahead 0-1. Oh, right. 
Now he turns and smokes this one into deep center field. And it'll wind up hanging just long enough for him to run it down. And with that, the side is retired. So they breeze through this half of the inning. Not too many more shots left. Home half of the eighth coming up. Tigers lead this one 4-1. to one. Alcides Escobar will lead things off here in the bottom half of inning number eight. Now a swing and a hard hit ball to short. Throw to first is in time for the first down. Kind of hurried the throw here when he didn't need to, but the first baseman saves the air. That was a nice play. Billy Butler will get another crack. One for three thus far. Swing and the ball hit well to the right side, but this will get into the crowd. Eighth inning, four to one is our score. Now a ball lying toward the alley in left center. And that'll fall, and we'll see here. Omar Infante will stand in, 0 for 2 thus far. Now a ball hit hard towards the hole. And that's through into left field for a base hit. Alex Gordon will get another shot. He hit into a double play his last time. First pitch coming. Swing and a miss that time. It's 0-1. And in the infield's into double play depth there as a ground ball could get him out of the inning. And this is on the ground to first. Could be two. To second for one. But they won't get two as he beats the relay to first. Not exactly a tailor-made double play. Thought they might have a shot, but the return throw is too late. Miguel Tejada is at the plate as he watches ball one. There's a cut fastball that time that runs in a bit too tight, and it's 2-0 and now. And he'll need some new lumber if he goes after that. Now a ball hit pretty well to left, but this is going to wind up in the seats foul. Lays off the change up, and he's ahead in the count now, three and one. Now ball hit toward third, but this is going to wind up a foul ball. Swung out and popped sky high to the right side of the infield. Cabrera is there and he puts this one away for the third out. So a great job there of working out a potential trouble. So it's no runs on two hits, no errors, and two men left stranded. We played eight full. Detroit is out in front, four to one. Corey Hunter will get us started as they look for a little insurance here in the top of the ninth. First pitch coming. Ninth inning underway now as the first pitch is taken for a cold strike. And this misses the outside corner so it's knotted up at one and one.
And he checks his swing. Did he go around? Yes, says the first base umpire. Strike two. Here's the pitch. Swing and a ball hit hard on the ground to short. Throw on to first for the out, and that is how the ninth inning gets underway. Number 61 will step in, a ground out victim as last time. Change up too low and it's 1-0. and oh. Bases are empty, one man out. Now a ball lined towards center field. And that's in there, base hit. They bring the fastball that time inside part of the plate, but he gets his hands right on top of this thing and shoots it up the middle. Alex Avila will get another crack, one for three thus far. And he gets ahead here with the fastball. Strike one. Both teams have nine hits on the scoreboard. From the belt. Kicks and deals. Grounded to third. This could be two. Infante for one. On to first as they get the double play to get him out of the inning. No runs on a hit. No errors and no one left. Sixth, seventh, and eighth place hitters scheduled to start the bottom of inning number nine. Tigers are out in front, 4-1. to one. Jeff Francoeur will stand in. He popped out in his last time. And that's inside for a ball, 1-0. And even though that's inside, he can turn that pitch around. Tried to hold up there. Appeal down to first and no swing. It's ball two. Number 38 is on, and he'll take over on the mound. The pitch. Now a pitch swung on and missed. It's two and one. This is low here, so the count goes to three and one. Wilson Betamid waits on deck. And he misses ball four. So he comes out of the bullpen and immediately walks the first man he faces. Well, not making excuses, Matt, but sometimes it's hard to make that adjustment from the bullpen mound to that mound between the white lines. Wilson Betamid will get another crack one for three thus far. Checks his swing, but this pitch is right there for strike one. He's set. Now the pitch. Hit hard, but foul. And he'll throw over to first. And a dive, but he's back in there. Got 
got him swinging on the split fingered pitch, and that's out number one. Well, it looks like the bottom half of the order needs to pick up the slack here, but this ain't going to help much. You got to go. Lucas May will get another crack, one for three thus far. And a fastball just misses for ball one. Boy, and they would love a double play ball right here. Joe Nathan will come in and pitch now. Went about halfway there, but it's a called strike regardless. That's a little too good to let go, but not necessarily something he could do anything with. And that swung on and fouled straight back. And a fastball swung on and missed as he just reared back there, two away. Lorenzo Kane will get another shot. He hit into a double play his last time. Swing and a ball line down in the left field corner. And this is going to be a foul ball. And this one's downstairs. It's a ball and a strike. That thing's moving pretty good at the end. Now the one and one pitch. Swung on and missed. One and two now. Down to their last strike, so they certainly have their backs up against it. And a ball popped foul to the right side, out of play. Come set, now the pitch. Swing and a miss, he struck him out, and that'll do it here as the ball game is over. Matt, these guys just keep rolling along with another victory, and that'll pad their lead in the AL Central race. You always hope to get a good outing from your starting pitcher, but this man went above and beyond in this one. He's our top player of the game. Well, Matt, he turned it over to the bullpen of the night, but still, eight strong innings for him, and he was hitting his spots throughout. So that brings us to the...